Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, over on Danoon Institute, I had posted our teaching, the House of Israel in Prophecy. And um, there was a sister, and I want to scroll down to where she's at there, Mun Mun. I guess that stands for Monday Monday. Kind of reminds me of a song there from years ago. She sent a message here. God bless you and your family regarding the prophecy from the Dead Sea. She some about the Dead Sea Scrolls about the tree that bends. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.23, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews in a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. The Strong's word for stumbling block, 46.25, means a trap stick or a bent sapling. You want to talk about blessing my heart to see that sister put that comment there. Oh, my gosh, sister, you, that just went through me, went through me. Actually, I had the Dead Sea Scrolls in my hand there. I wanted to pull up the actual fragment itself to share with you guys uh, so you can see this a little bit better yourself. And now I better understand, because of what this sister showed me, I better understand why this was put there in the first place. So let's go to the actual fragment itself. This is in uh, this is an Ezekiel fragment, 4Q385. By the way, there are more fragments with this same number on there uh, that are attributed to Jeremiah. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you're trying to look these up, uh, you can do that. I'm actually using um, uh, Ebert uh, Tickler and Gar uh, Garcia Martinez, their work on the Dead Sea Scrolls on this particular fragment. Uh, I use different, different scholars when I'm looking at this. And of course, I check it for myself to, to make sure that it is what it is. And, and really, what is this? This is what's fascinating to me. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, you are literally reading a, one of the books of, of Ezekiel. That's exactly what this fragment is. This is more original than what we have in our own Bible at this point here because we're getting a verse that we don't have. And that's what is amazing, uh, especially in light of the fact of what the verse says. All right, I've got it highlighted in yellow here, so let's kind of just pick up here. May a bone connect with its bone and a joint with its joint, and so happened. And he said the second time, prophesied the sinews will grow on them, and they will be covered with skin all over, and so it happened. And again, he said, prophesy over the four winds of the sky, and the winds of the sky will blow upon them, and they will live, and a large crowd of men will rise and bless uh, uh, Jehovah uh, of Sabbath, who caused them to live. Oh, Jehovah, when will these things happen? Uh, Ezekiel asked. And Jehovah said to me, and there's a blank spot as that, that last verse ends there, and it picks up into verse 10. But when he gets into verse 10, he says, and a tree will bend over, and straighten up. There's your word right there. If you can see that here, I'm kind of trying to, let me, let me blow this up a little bigger for you guys. That's the Hebrew word right there for bending over. There's the word eights for tree, and then vezakaf would be for, for straightening up or, 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 you know, or, or making things right, a writing. And I realize, especially because in what I was showing you the other day, I didn't actually look at the fragment. I was just using a, a program that I created myself uh, for just for the English part for search purposes and uh, make it a little bit faster. That way, when I go to a fragment, I can kind of search it a little bit faster. But I didn't have the part about straightening up. Uh, and the sister shares with us there. And let me just show, show you what she shared. I actually made a copy of this. Uh, right out of there, 1 Corinthians 1.23, but we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews and a, excuse me, a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. And like she said, the word stumbling block right there, bent sapling, probably a derivative of a trap stick or bent sapling. 
That is a snare is what they assume it to be. But Jesus Christ, he is the root and vine. He is, he is the, he is the, he is the, um, the tree of life. So what would it be if the tree was bent over and then it straightens back up? The clue was laying right there in the wording itself. He's talking about the resurrection of the dead. And then Ezekiel wants to know, Lord, when is this going to happen? And the only part of the fragment we get is when a tree will bend over and straighten up. When Christ died on the cross, he was that tree bent over. He gave up the ghost. His spirit went to God and he went down in there and he brought captive captivity captive and he brought those souls that were that were that were waiting for the promise remember what job says after the skin worms destroys this body yet in my flesh i shall see my oh oh let's just let's just pull it up we we don't even want to, we just want to pull it up let's see what job says i know my redeemer liveth all right there it is, Job 19, 25. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And after my skin worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself. Mine eyes shall behold not another. In other words, not another set of eyes. Okay? Though my reins be consumed within me, but you should say, why persecute? Okay, then he goes into the part about the persecution. Job knew that his Redeemer, which was Jesus Christ, that he was going to stand here on the last day of the earth and that he would be resurrected by the power of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ. And then Ezekiel shows us that when he, when he bends, when the tree bends over and then straightens up, that's the resurrection, the death, burial, and resurrection. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely amazing. And, you know, I was getting ready to take care of some things I'd take care of here. And and, and then this sister, uh, Mun Mun, uh, sent this, put this comment in here. And God bless you, my sister. You just made, I'm sure it made your day. So... I'm sure it really made your day. But now that I went and actually looked at the fragment itself, I got the extra work and it straightens up. So we know it's the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Oh my, 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 my. Do you realize that when uh, the house of Israel had come home, because there was one person who had made a comment. They were, I think they were just trying to figure this out. They, they felt like there's still going to be more of the house of Israel has got to return. Look, the whole return was to return to Christ, to see the Redeemer. The house of Israel doesn't have to go back to the Middle East. The house of it, the whole point for the house of Israel, according to Ezekiel's prophecy, was to get them to the Messiah. The resurrection, as Job clearly identifies it. Oh my goodness, uh, th this is exciting to me. This, this, sh this should cause the Jewish people to recognize Jesus Christ, to truly to be the Messiah, the Son of the living God that raised up the dead. You should recognize this is prophecy being fulfilled. You don't, I mean, Jewish friends, listen, Israelis, wherever you might be, this is the this you you got the most beautiful fragment in the world you could have ever had. Another one proving it, and then that sister sends us this this beautiful passage here from Paul's writings in Corinthians, and he says, "But we preach Christ crucified," and then the Jews what a bent stick. You you, you see what Paul Paul got it he got it. We preach him that he was crucified. But to the Jews, he was just bent over dead. Paul got it. And to the Greeks, it's just foolishness. Well, why, do you, why do you guys do this? 
Oh my goodness. Why, why did they put stumbling block? It's all right. It's all right. I, I, I am blessed to no end. To no end. I really am blessed. This has made my night. Um, it really has. And I trust it'll bless you as well. Share it. Share it with your Jewish friends as well. Maybe, just maybe this fragment here will do something for them. Maybe they can see this themselves as well and then realize that Jesus Christ was the bent tree. He was the bent tree. Send the video to every Jewish person you know. You know, send it to everybody. Send it to Amir. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm all, for, all for him preaching the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ, but let's, let's get right to the truth of the word of God. That's what I'm trying to do. Look, I was in the wrong way as well. Let's go to the truth of the word. This is beautiful. This is what the Jewish people need to hear. Wow. What an amazing thing. This is why I like the Dead Sea Scrolls, especially when you get into the biblical text, because you start finding little nuggets in there, here and there, you'll get a sentence here and a sentence over there. Uh, and, and we find something, you know, even the book of Isaiah, uh, there were two different fragments on Isaiah, but in the book of Isaiah, we've got, we've got full sentences that are not even in our Isaiah. Doesn't really maybe change very much, but it's just here and there, especially something like this. This is major. This is about Christ. This is major. Oh my goodness. I, I'm excited. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for those of you that support this ministry. We appreciate your support of this ministry. I, I know there's a lot going on. We've got a lot of stress going on in life. Everybody does. I know you do it. And we'll be praying for you as well. But we thank you for your support of this ministry. Um, and uh, our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. I'm going to have to write about this. I've, I've really got to literally write about this one on the website and post this on the website. I think it'll be a blessing for many people. So I'll put the video there. I'll try to write about it. I won't be able to do it tonight, but I will try to write about it here in the next day or so. Get it on the website and uh, share it. Share it everywhere you possibly can. I really believe it's going to bless a lot of people. Thank you and good evening.